This problem tells us that the drawing at the right shows a prism with an odd-shaped bottom and top and rectangular sides. The top and bottom each have an area of 10 square centimeters and the height is 4 centimeters. What is the volume of the prism? Explain your reasoning. So the odd shape we're talking about, of course, is right here. Now, since this is a prism, right, since we can see the odd shape up here, and it has rectangular sides, then we can automatically assume that the shape on the bottom is identical. That's a key, that's a key description of a prism, right? Top and bottom match. So whatever shape this really is, it's the same on the bottom and top. And that's something to think about because here they tell us that the area, right, of that shape is 10 square centimeters. So just the area of this thing on the top here, the area equals 10 square centimeters. And then uh, another key element to the shape is that this side right here, right, and every side on this, on this lateral surface, by that I mean the, the surface that's between the top and bottom, all of those shapes are rectangles. And that's another key thing. Since those are all rectangles and this shape is not turning or bending in any way, we, we can just find the area of the shape on the top and then multiply it by this height right here. It's a height of 4, right? This is the basic strategy for all prisms. So the volume of a prism, right, of any prism, is to do the following. Take the area of your base. And of course, don't take this so literally. The area of the base is the thing on the bottom, because if this shape was turned on its side, right, don't think that this lateral surface is the base. You can tell you have a base, because every prism has two sides that are equal, right, two identical sides. One of those, when you have a prism, if you have two shapes that are identical, you can think of one of them as the base. And if you have multiple sides that are identical, that's okay too, because then you're, you have some flexibility in thinking what is the base. But with a shape like this, or a triangular prism, for example, the base is the shape that's repeated twice, or the face that's repeated twice. In this case, the face that's repeated twice is this odd shape. It's on the top and bottom. So that's the base, right? Area of the base. And then you multiply it by the height of the shape. And that's the height of the lateral surface. Now the height, right, if this shape was laying on its side, would still be this distance right here. The height really measures the distance between the top and bottom, between the base and the, and the top. In other words, between the two faces that are identical. And this is, that's it. That's really all those formulas for volume do. So, for example, the, the volume of a rectangular prism, right? What is that? Well, the volume of a rectangular prism is just the length times the width times the height. If you think about it, length by width is really just the area of the base of the shape. If we sketch this out, right, here's the base, a rectangle, and then multiplied by a height. And the same thing with the cube, it's identical, right? But here you just find the area of the base, multiply it by the height. And you can do this with anything. Um, but, but here, because we know this is a prism and we know the area of the base, all we have to do is multiply 10 by 4. So 10 centimeters by 10 centimeters squared by 4 centimeters is 40 centimeters cubed. That's the volume here. And the reasoning is that we're just basically, in the way I think about it, is multiplying the area of the base times the height. But if that's not convincing enough, you can think about it this way. When you find the area of this base and, and think that it has a height of, let's say, 1. Well, that's not right. This is a height of 4. So if it had a height of 1, it would be something like this, right? So when you find the area of that base with a height of 1, Right, it's 10 centimeters squared by 1 centimeter, you're finding the volume or how many little times this shape of height 1 fits into the shape, in, into the total prism. So it's going to be 1, and then 2, and then 3, and then 4 times. So 4 heights of this area, or, or, or 40 cubic centimeters. And then in part B they ask, is this volume less than, equal to, or the exact volume? Is this, you know, because they're saying this is our estimate. Well, I would say it's exact, because all you're doing is following the same procedure that you would for any prism, multiplying the area of the base times the height. Thanks a lot.